In this video, I'm going to show you how to link slices between a 3D frame and uh, another frame to create dynamic CP curves. Uh, this can be done with uh, any type of variable, but in this case we're working with the Onera M6 wing and uh, pressure coefficient. To show you how this works, uh, I can grab the slice tool here and move my slices around. You can see how they dynamically update. Uh, makes for a nice visualization. Uh, so let's go ahead and reconstruct this plot from the beginning uh, so you can see how this is done. Start with a new layout and we will open our data file which is the M6. First thing we'll do is we'll flip to 3D, select the slice tool, drop in a slice and we want this to be a Y slice and let's turn on start end slices and let's say six intermediate slices. Now to be able to identify these slices in the resulting plot we're going to color them by the Y variable. We'll turn on the mesh, select multi one, we'll make them a little thicker so they stand out a little easier. Turn off edges and then we'll come over here to contour details and change multi one to Y. So now you can see that my slices are colored by the Y variable. So now what we'll do is we'll go to frame linking, turn on slice positions, close this, and we'll select the frame, edit copy, and then edit paste. Now we'll tile the frames, we'll tile horizontally, now in our lower frame here, let's double click on the frame and we'll rename it uh, CP Curves. And what we'll do is we'll turn off the shade layer on the zone so we're left with just the slices and we'll reassign XYZ. We're going to assign the Z axis to our pressure coefficient and we want the Z to be up and then let's flip the uh, curves over. We'll just rotate this around. We'll come into the view rotate dialog and fine tune this so we're looking straight on. Okay, so now let's turn on the axes so we can see them. We're going to turn on the x axis and the z axis. There's no point in turning on y because it's pointing straight out from the screen and we wouldn't be able to see it. We'll zoom out a little bit. I did that with a middle mouse click and uh, drag. And then we want this plot to be wider, so we'll change this to independent and bump up the X scale factor a bit. Can zoom out a little bit more so we can get the X. The X is getting clipped off here at the bottom, so we'll go to the title page for the X axis and we'll change the offset. Let's try four. And that looks pretty good. And let's right click on the contour legend, hide that, and we'll hide our orientation axis. Move this a little bit more. Now in the upper frame, we'll zoom out just a bit. We'll grab our slice tool. And we can start moving around our slices. And that's how you link slices in a 3D view to something that looks like a 2D view. Thank you for watching.